Hi everybody, this is Eliana Marzan and I am here to share with you how to piece the purse from the old, um, our daily bread designs. Let me show you the, this is the, um, the die cuts here. So if you don't have the die cut, I can always send you some pieces to start off with so you get comfortable and decide if you want to purchase it or not. But here is the purse. It has the pockets. The inside. Now you can use a magnet, you can use Velcro, um, whichever you like. Here's another pocket here and the back. You don't have to add the diamonds today. We're not going to do any diamond work. We're just going to piece it together. So let's get started here. So when you get your main purse cut out, it's basically you'll have two pieces of everything. And you'll have two of the side, two of the, um, let me get it here, of the pocket, which are these pieces here. See? So there are your pockets. This is your main pieces of your purse. Hold on, maybe I need to zoom out a tad bit there. Sorry. Bear with my desk. This is my messy mat. Here's my clean mat on the um, on the outside, as you can see here. See it there? But when I'm working with glue, wet glue, especially wet, I like to make sure that um, I have uh, this one to work with. But anyway, so these are the main purse. This is, these are the little pockets. These pieces here, as you can see here, these are what you have on the outside. Now I, um, I absolutely love the R Glitter Glue to piece together the purse. Um, let me, my R Glitter Glue sometimes wants to come out when it wants to. So I'll just open that up there. So what I like to do first is I like to, um, mat the um, purse, excuse me, the, the black pieces, the cardstock pieces, with the pattern paper. So I chose this like turquoise color mat paper. <clears throat> and basically, like I said, everything that you have there will be cut out twice. Um, so you have all your pieces set up. And this is it's fairly easy once you have everything cut out. So basically here, how you have it here, and basically what you'll do is you will um, adhere it to the solid there, solid color, whichever solid. I like my purses in black. You can do them any way you want. And then I'll, I'll flip it over so you can see in a minute. But... There we go. See? And then you take your full, or you don't really need the bone folder, but you can. But you use the bone folder part for here to flatten it down really well. But it comes already scored once you have, once you have it um, cut. See? So you just score it. And there goes one side of your purse as it is already. Then you do the same with the other side. Have it cover it up once again. Put it inside the little. These there are these little um. I see one called these little. I don't know little cut marks on there. Um, you try to stay within the cut mark line. There's another one here, and then you fold it here. And then, voila. And here is the basic part of your purse. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to, um, and here's some, you can use score tape if you want. Um, I don't know why, but I think the, the wet glue kind of does a little better, but your preference, truthfully. Um, but you'll layer this on top of here with the um, pattern pieces facing on the outside mm -hmm. 
If you're using the wet glue, just wipe off any excess. I have my little trusty rag here. Wipe off any excess. And then just set it, put it aside so it could dry. Hold it together, just pinch, and then let it dry. But this is your outside of your purse. See? Inside, outside. Now once you get the hang of making the purses, then you can add extra stuff. You can do you can line the inside of the purses. The possibilities are endless on that part. Um, then these pieces here are for oops, let me find my other one. For the sides of the purse. Sometimes if you want to, you can ink them. Um, you'll see that there is a part here that folds down here on the bottoms show you a little see here where you can fold it down that is the bottom of your purse here here these are your pockets okay so let me put the um, pattern paper on here some of the excess that's the only bad thing about the glue but you know what it sticks on pretty quick has a good grip Ooh, wrong one sorry make sure you just grab those corners there that at least uh, the corners can stay stuck down and you don't have to worry about it flaying up and then here you go here Make sure you want to clean any excess glue. Remember it'll dry so you don't have to worry too much. And there you go. Here are your sides of your purse. You take your folds, you fold them on the sides. Here. about that as you can see I'm not a real big tutorial gal but I try okay so all the pieces here are for the sides here are done just just have to be folded now what I like to do before I attach it to the um, purse itself that way if I make a mistake or whatever I can always redo it and not um, have to cut more pieces out so, let's see here. There we go. Just make it, make it flatter. So it's gonna look like that. See? See it? Okay. So these are your sides. These are gonna be your sides for your purse. Now, if you choose not to use your little mesh part, you can leave them like that. And just adhere them down or what you do is you take your mesh part the part that um, is the fatter part on the top you can um, for one of my purses which I sold already you can put a little bit of your pattern paper here on the top or you can leave it black or you know whatever solid print you have um, and basically what you do is you just fold all the pieces down a lot of it is just pretty much scoring and adhering it. That's the, the harder part. Now, <clears throat> a trick that I got to was you want to make sure you kind of mold it so that when it comes time to glue it, it doesn't become such a pain to put down on your paper because it kind of has to be kind of like a um, half a circle. See? <clears throat> so here you go. Here's the other side here. So, and 
I actually like making this purse. I'm not a real big measuring type of person. I don't like to measure too much. I like quick and simple type projects, but ones that, you know, at the end turn out cute. All right, so here's another one. Here's the other side of one. So you got two of these. Now these are uh, semi-circles there. And those, go with, 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 those will go with that. Okay, so now we have our handles. Same thing goes, what we did for our other papers is we want to just make sure we cover all the pattern on top of the solid. So when it comes time to um, do the purse, you know, putting it together, everything is already on it and it's just pretty much put it together. So here's one handle there and one handle here. These little purses, they make great um, gifts for your secretaries, your nurses, your neighbors. I mean, because you can put stuff in there. It has good weight as long as you do a strong cardstock base to it. But here is your handle. Let me show you here. See? This will become your handle. And just like you did with the other one, kind of make it uh, just a little bit more um, flexible here. So I just kind of do it because this is how it would be. It'll fall down like this. That's for your strap. So there's one and there's two. Same thing oops, for your pocket here. The top part that does not have a fold will be the, will be, here, let me show you. The top part that does not have the fold will be the top the top of the pocket and this is your bottom of your pocket here just like you did with the other ones because uh, this is how it gets adhered and it becomes a little pocket for your front see right here this will be your your pocket here and then here is your top of your pocket and what you do is you adhere it well, how I do it, you can do it any which way you want, but you'd go like this, adhere it to the paper, and then kind of slide this one behind it so that it turns into a pocket. See? Same thing for the other side. You're going to fold them, and then you're going to mat them with the pattern paper. The bottom is the part that you adhere to the um, purse, so it's the part that needs to um, it, it needs to be uh, it's like a, whoa my god I lost the train of thought the bottom part is the part that gets attached to the purse basically here are the pieces for the outside of here so once again we'll take our trusty our glitter glue Attach it here. And I like the part that it, I like the fact that it, the black part out here is already uh, like an outline. Wow. So it kind of gives you that matted look in a way. And then here is the other side. And then <clears throat> what we want to make sure is that we glue all the pattern. You know, remember. Try to glue all the pattern paper down first before you attach all the pieces because it becomes, it gets a little messy when you're trying to put all the um, pieces together and mat them at the same time as well. So this is much easier, I find. I, I did it both ways. And this is the way I found it to be a little bit easier to work with. So here is the lid for the envelope here, so you can see here. This is how it will look once it's on. Pardon the background noise, please. Um, so you have here, and then here is 
like? Right here, the last one. So as you can see, after this, there's no more pattern uh, pieces because we've done it all here. Now it's basically what we do now is we get ready to attach the purse together. Clear off the excess, like I said. So here we go. Here is the... Oh, I forgot to fold this last one here. Hold on. There we go. There we go. See that there? Alright, so now let's start attaching the purse together here. Here are the side pieces. So here what we do is we're going to... I like to adhere the bottom first. So here is the bottom. Okay. And you adhere it to the this the bottom side of the bottom part here. I don't know if that's made any kind of sense, but the bottom I'll show it to you up close. Give me one second. So it's kind of make a little flap. See here. See? Because then you're gonna attach these two pieces onto here. Like so, see? And that makes your side. So you, oops, guys, stay over there. Thing wants to hop everywhere on my table. So one here, and one here, and fold this here. Fold this one here. And now basically what you're going to do is I took my um, sis or my scissors. No, not my scissor. My, uh, I had this little pointy thing. Anything pointy. And just kind of stick it in there and press down so that it adheres to the paper better inside. It does kind of get a little bit tricky. This is, the I think, the, the trickiest part of the whole process. This part here. Because it, it wants to do what it wants to do and you gotta train and say nope I'm the boss take any excess of that glue off which just gotta dry there Let's see. these allergies are really kicking my booty this year okay that's just excess glue there it'll dry clear so you're not gonna see anything later I think it's just part of my part of me I can't see it but anyway so here's one see we're gonna do the same with this side here oops get my glue with the bottom do that part here with the bottom here, attach it so it makes that little flap. Remember the flap? Remember the skinny part goes up. The fatter part on the bottom. Then once again we do the sides here. And then we attach it once again. There we go. Basically, like I said, this is the hardest part here out of putting the whole thing together is getting these these parts on. I remember the first time I tried it, I was like, oh, forget it. I'll just keep the purse flat on the sides. But this is kind of what makes the purse stand out from other purses these little um, pockets on the side there. like I said, clear any of the excess off See? so now you have two side pockets now so what you do now that you have this part done here you're going to take the side here the fat part towards the bottom 
And you're kind of going to do what I did to attach that mesh part. You're going to glue the bottom part to, to right here where these pieces meet. Right there in the middle. Right here. See? Right there. And do the same on the other side. And if this is something that you want to try, you don't know if you want to spend. Because I spent, for the outside purse die, it was uh, $35. I'm not sure how much they have it on the website. And then the insert part was $19.99. So it's a little bit pricey for a die, but I like it. I um, can make a lot of little presents for my teachers and my nurses that are always dealing with me. So... I thought it would be good. Also, it can make good gifts for like the um, for Christmas time. You can make Christmas purses. Give them to your friends and neighbors. Fill them up with some goodies. Um, if they like soaps, you could stick maybe, I don't know, maybe one or two of the soaps in here. But once you put um, the glue on both sides, you basically want to sit here and kind of press it down. So get that one pointy item that you had before and hold it down in there. See, you want to make sure that these flaps are secured well to the side of the purse here. Everything is attached well. Okay. Any excess, like I said, you can clean it off. So once it dries, you won't see none of that. Same thing goes on the other side. You see how it's coming together now? It's starting to look like a purse. And look at that, we didn't do any measuring whatsoever. Because I cannot stand my... Oof. If I could do all my crafting without measuring, it'd be great. But that's not life. So, we could just get away with some of the easier stuff. So, here we go. And basically, what I'm doing, I'm just cleaning off some of the excess, the thicker pieces of the um, wet glue so it doesn't dry, you know, clear but clumpy there. Probably won't even dry like that, but mentality wise, I'm stuck like that. So. Okay, so now we have our purse put together. Now it pretty much just has to dry. So here's the outside. Ta da! Okay, so now what we do is we take our handles. Contour them so that they're facing the little button parts are kind of facing this way You kind of want them to Be a little bit flexible. You don't want them, you know, completely straight. It doesn't look like a purse that way Put a little bit of Glue And then Put one here Twist And put one here Try to make sure that you kind of keep them at least as even as possible. There you go. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Try not to make this video too long, but I just want you to see what the little process was to um, put it together. Not too hard, it won't take you all day. And once you get used to it, you'll kind of, do, you know, piece these guys together, cut up a couple of them at a time, 
have all the pieces out and get your little pattern papers. Um, my first one I did was with the Graphic 45 um, Halloween paper. And that one actually sold. Um, yeah, but... So now that's pretty heavy duty here. See? So now here's your pocket. And the pocket just exactly the same way you, you put everything else down. Just pull it down there. Oops. Pull it from the bottom. There we go. Oops. Turn that down. You want the, the wet glue to take, you know, to take it. That way it could dry good. Press it down, that's it. Not too much. There we go. All right, and then here is your flap. You're gonna put the the, the wet glue um, right here on the outside of the flap, and you're gonna just push it through pretty much. Don't put too much that you end up sealing the. I mean, you can have it sealed if you don't want to use it for anything, but trying to just want to slide it in here in the hole. And tape it down. Now, this die also has like a little buckle that you can use. I haven't worked with the buckle yet. So I'm not going to really teach you that one yet because I don't know. But I'll do another video where I'll just pretty much do the buckle part. But here is the pocket. See? So like for this part here, what I did was... <clears throat> I added a rosette to the outside here. And I put a little magnet here. So... See? So it can close. But you could do that. You can add, um, you know, another tiny piece of paper here and, and a magnet here and have it closed that way. If you don't like doing magnets, uh, you could do the uh, Velcro um, seam binding. I mean, there's a lot of different ways that you can start to decorate it if, if you want, or you can leave it, like I said, um, like this again. Um, it's up to you. But. Let me just show you the whole person in its entirety here. <clears throat> I said we glue this down, fold it. Some of the folding and the, and the holding the glue down is the, the tricky part. The only thing that I find with the score tape is not as very as uh, forgiving those first couple seconds. So once you glue it down, if you lift it back up, you might take some of the paper with you. And then I, I think we all have those papers that when we first started scrapbooking that are those single sheets. You truly only need maybe um, one 12 by 12 or two 12 by 12, depending on how much you're cutting out of the pattern papers. This I used a 12 by 12, but it was a um, two 12 by 12s. Basically, if you have two 12 by 12s, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm rambling on here. Um, you could do the whole the whole purse and still have extra extra paper. But hold that down. Just want to make sure it's held good. I don't want it falling off later. And then. My squeaky chair. Okay. Chair's as squeaky as my knees are. Okay. And then, like I said, we put this part in, hold it down, 